So I really <laughs> it was not planning to make a video today. And uh, but you know, sometimes you know things just pop into my head. I mean, now that I'm home alone, I uh, love that movie. But well, the first one anyway, the second, third weren't weren't all that great. But uh, anyway, um, just thought I'd kind of tell you um, where the channel's headed. Uh, I'm gonna, you know, t like tonight I spent um, I spent a good uh, four or five hours just watching videos on the GoPro, and uh, you know I'd just been using the standard settings, and I'm sure you haven't respected the quality of my hiking videos. Uh, hell, I may have to just go. That might be a, my next project is to go back and remake them. Um, you know, the GoPro has all of these settings, you know, and I'm, when I first got it, I was, I was watching videos, but I was in crisis mode, you know, I mean, my mom was sick up in Virginia, and uh, um, it just seemed like one, one thing after another, and I was trying to get the house ready for uh, inflation, and uh, stock market crash, which uh, looks kind of like it's uh, in progress, don't you think? Um, you know, I was expecting the dollar to crash, uh, you know, so I knew I needed to get, I, I was expecting gas prices to go up. Imagine all these things. I guess I was kind of right about most of them. Uh, precious metals uh, seemed to be shooting up all of a sudden. Boy, oh boy, Kirk, I guess you were right. You know, that cybersecurity guy, maybe, uh, maybe you were preparing. You know, I was stocking up on food. I was buying camping equipment. I was getting my bug out bag ready. You know, I mean, I, I did everything I could. It's, it's kind of weird. It's a weird moment in my life. Everything's done. So what did I do today? <laughs> and I know you don't care, but I actually went up and worked on my pickleball serve because I haven't played pickleball in like two years because I've been so busy preparing for this crisis. Uh, and then I actually played water volleyball. <laughs> and it's, well, it's, it's different rules. I mean, it's not real water volleyball. You just bat these balls around. You can hit it multiple times and bounce it over the net. It was a fun day. I mean, I actually had a fun day. Now, my hikes are fun, but what I wanted to tell you is um, I'm going to be going, you can see I'm, I'm, I'm laying out the equipment. This is something I can do now that my wife's not here. I got the poncho here, the hiking shoes, you know, I'm putting together all the equipment that I'm going to be using to uh, go up to the Yearling Trail. Um, you know, I talked to the VFW today and uh, they, what they want me to do is I'll bring in a piece of paper, show them where I'm going, the longitude, the latitude. Uh, you know, of course, I got on the details, you know, what the car is, of course, you know, they don't know, it's Toyota Prius Prime, and, you know, where I'm parking, and, uh, and that way somebody knows, you know, when, when I go out uh, uh, hiking into the Akala National Forest, so that's, that's going to be the next big hike, but at this point, you know, I can actually start working on technical stuff, um, you know, I mean, you know, my videos are, when you compare them to the professionals on YouTube, I mean, they're... They're pitiful, you know, I mean, I, I admit, but, uh, but now, now I got the time. So I just spent the night, I got the settings on the GoPro, it's called activity, it was, it's the activity setting. And then of course I adjusted some of the settings in the activity according to what I saw people on YouTube recommend. Um, you know, I don't know. I mean, you know, I don't know what I'm doing. I, I some of the times I don't even know. I just say, okay, I'll just set it to that. <laughs> you know? So, so I'm I'm expecting the next hiking video at the Yearling Trail is probably going to look much more professional. And I'm going to use the GoPro, not the. Ca I've been using the camera on a lot of these, and I'm just using the camera for these sit down videos. And by the way, I'll, I'm going to change that category for motorcycle chats by that cybersecurity guy to uh, uh, fireside chats by that cybersecurity guy. Um, so we're, we're because I, I don't see me making any more motorcycle chats. I mean, it, it's just mainly going to be about hiking activity, uh, and, and maybe a little political talk here and there. Uh, I, I know that a lot of people don't like that and, and that's, that's, that's fine. But, you know, I have to express my opinion. I mean, you know, I, I think, uh, you know, I, where, I, let's just talk a little politics. Well, what do you think? Is, is you, is Russia going to invade Ukraine because Biden is, is so weak and you got Blinken, Lincoln, Blinken up there and, uh, you know, uh, that, that traitor Millie, uh, you know, I think so. I think they'll invade. I think that China is going to invade Taiwan after the Olympics. Eh, could be wrong. You know, we'll see. So just a little politicking on the video. But, uh, but anyway, that's, uh, I just want to make a, a two second video to tell you, um, you know, what I'm going to be doing. And, and by the way, she's my wife, uh, well, my ex-wife, uh, let, let's at this point, you know, the divorce is over. 
Um, she's going to be bringing the dog by tomorrow. So I'm just, I'm basically spending the weekend with the dog because the next two days, like I told you, no way I'm going in the Ocala National Forest with a 20 to 30% chance of rain. Just not going to do it. Plus the temperature is only going to get into the fifties or maybe the low sixties. Um, now, you know, if you're a northerner, <laughs> you're like, well, that's hot weather. <laughs> not, not for me, man. That's, that's, that's a bit chilly. And plus at night, you know, it's going to get down cold. And if something were to happen, and I had to sleep out there. And, and I've already talked about all the gear. I'm going to be taking the sleeping bag. And I haven't packed that yet. And so I'm just kind of kind of staging everything in front of this chair so that, you know, when, when I wake up in the morning, you know, it's kind of, well, I mean, if you're working a job, right, I'm, I'm working a job. I mean, it's not, it's a job that I enjoy. Don't get me wrong. But I mean, you know, think about it. When you used to work, you know, you always had everything ready to just shoot out the door. And so that's kind of what I'm doing now that my wife's not here uh, and her uh, Democrat friends aren't coming over uh, with their, you know, oh my God, your house is a mess. So, you know, I can, uh, I can go ahead and stage everything in my, in my, in the kingfish chair here and just have it all ready to go so i'm just kind of slowly gathering stuff and um so that that's the next big hike and it, it'll probably be next week and uh but you know understand i'm working and, and I, actually i'm gonna i'm looking forward to working on the website i i will be getting to that cybersecurity.com website up uh within the next well i mean it depends on my mom if the bat signal goes up and i got to go up to virginia well, you know, game over at that time. We'll, we'll try to hike in the uh, Appalachian Trail, but at this time of the year, everything's closed down. They even closed the gates so that you can't get up on the parkway. So anyway, peace out. Stay free. I'll do the mantra this time. You know, it's good to live in the free Republican state of Florida where we have no vaccine mandates, no jab requirements, no lockdowns. And we are, can come and do as we freeze. And we are under the great leadership of the Governor DeSantis. And if you're a Democrat, well, I should, you know what? I, I'm going to read, I'm going to redo that because some Democrats are okay. And I think I've offended some people on the channel. If you're a totalitarian, let's just, if you're a totalitarian Democrat, let's just put it that way. I'll, I'll tell you what, this will be the new mantra. If you're a totalitarian Democrat and want lockdowns and want the, and if you're going to come to Florida and vote for stupid stuff, move to New York move to California, move to Illinois, go to Washington State, Seattle will be a good place for you, Chicago will be a good for, place for you, but don't come to Texas, don't go to Tennessee, don't come to Florida, don't go to South Carolina, even don't even go to North Carolina, or especially Georgia, because that's going to be a close vote. Peace out, stay free.